What's up, Fail Again? It's your boy Infinite J. Say, man, I um, hope everybody out there having a wonderful day, wonderful time. I hope you guys like enjoying the benefits and the the flip side of what's been going on in society, um, especially with the whole pandemic. You know, not just the COVID in itself, not just that disease that they done made so popular. Um, but just the pandemic in the seven has affected so many people. Um, and the reason why I said it is because I speak on change a lot. I speak on change all the time. Um, <clears throat> and one thing that's going to be consistent and forever, you know, is uh, education and the way you did it changes and evolves um, in, a, in, a, in a consistent, positive way. But it changes in a means of... Uh, the value of what's been said or done so pretty much how you perceive the education you know what I mean um, and if not it's like the daytime and my lighting is still off <laughs> maybe it's this pink shirt what y'all think about it makes me look darker I'm just dark regardless it don't even matter Anyways, education is consistent, you know. <clears throat> That's pretty much something that it won't change, but you can add and take from education in the way that you want. But anyways, let's move forward. I want to speak about distractions. Like, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Because, um... With distractions, man, it, it can bring sadness, it can bring joy, it can bring happiness, peace, it can bring sorrow. And the reason why I say that, man, is because, like, from my experiences, what I've dealt with and what I've learned is that there's times where you know that you're distracted, and then there's times where you are being distracted unawarely, like, you have no earthly idea. And again, for me, like, I've dealt with people places and things just just simple right and <clears throat> you know we know what we should be doing what we should be doing where we should be going and things like that um but we we tend to find ourselves getting like caught up in certain situations caught up in certain conversations you know just just indulge in, in certain activities that can deteriorate de deteriorate us from where we need to go not all of us, and it's not all the time. But distraction is just is like, it's a minute thing that can bring a major effect. And in my life, I've noticed that with myself. Like, there's so many paths that I was supposed to have gone on. But then I allowed myself to get involved in certain situations because I was distracted. And like now, you know, something come up and you turn, you turn your attention away from what you're supposed to be doing in this that fast is that fast you guys also with distraction man you can become a distraction to someone and not just people you know it, it's everything in life from like billboards from ads from social media is the biggest one of them all this platform right here you get on social media you intended to do something you're trying to research and you find some there's an ad you skip that ad, you watch what you're supposed to be watching, another ad pops up, you get bored, you go use the bathroom, you get on your phone, you come back to your laptop, something else popped up, like, there's tens and tons of thousands of distractions in society to date than has ever been in our life, and we don't even become aware of these um, projections of what's going on. Because like no one actually know what they're supposed to be doing at the end of the day to get to get them to where they need to go. Now I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I'm saying like there's no one ultimate agenda where the entire world's supposed to be, you know, conducive to this one particular thing. Like what I'm trying to say is, um, if there was an actual agenda in life for every human to partake in, you know, we understand the golden rules being, you know love thyself as our neighbor and all this stuff if there was one particular like mission we would have been on it would have accomplished it and that would have been that and then it would have been like okay what's next right so like as as we are humans 
going on about our day-to-day -day activities, our day-to-day -day operations, our, just our day-to-day -day lives. When we are born, we're not told like, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. This is your mission. This is your goal. Like, and this is the this is this is life or death. No, we're 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 taught in school. We're not we're not really programmed to think about this stuff until we get to school. And they tell us like, oh, okay, what you're supposed to do when you graduate, or even before you graduate, you want to graduate, you need to graduate, in order to have this put on your, you know, not just your resume, but your background of experience to get a great job, so you can do well in society. In, in society, that's what we're told, right? But if if we really had it to where that was something set in place for the masses of the population to achieve and acquire we would have done that we wouldn't be the minions that we are there's a lot of people that are minions right now it's a lot of people that just they look for the next best thing the next trend you know what i'm saying the next wave the next vibe to jump on that's cool and all but when you're done with that then what you're gonna look for the next one you know what I'm saying you're gonna go after the next thing until you find the actual purpose. That's that's really what you know throughout all outside noise is you're supposed to be finding your purpose, right? You're supposed to be looking within yourself, doing your research. You know what I'm saying? Not just jumping on the first thing that is brought to your attention, but doing your research in life about what you want. Cause then that would determine where you're going. That would then allow you to say, okay. I need to go ahead and put myself in this position to get here. And then you have to remember that your purpose is that reason for getting you that. Or your purpose is the reason for that calling. But you have to ask yourself, like, what is my purpose? Find out that purpose. And then do your best, you know what I'm saying, to stay within your purpose. If that was, like, our ultimate goal in life. Because at this point, really, 2020, 2021, I miss, like, it's always been every man for itself, but we don't see that because we distract it. We blind about it, the glamour, glitter, and gold. And these things are just things, people. They come and go. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have something today. Somebody is going to have it tomorrow. You're going to have something or have something that I'm going to have it today or want it next year. It doesn't matter. It's like things come and go, man. So <clears throat> I just want to encourage somebody to like find out what's going to keep them afloat, you know what I'm saying, what's going to keep them stabilized, get that foundation set in yourself, that purpose, what's driving you, what's that driving force that's making you do something, that'll help you become non-distracted, you know what I'm saying, that'll keep all the peasants away from you, you know what I mean, and again, I've had so many highs and lows in my life to where I'm at the point I'm seeking straight highs, you know what I'm saying, the straight highs, I'm not talking about smoking, I'm, I'm talking about just elevation of life, like my manifestation, like, I'm in a position now where I'm just like, this is where I want it to be, not necessarily, you know, everything that I have, and everything that I don't got, but I'm not where I used to be, you know what I'm saying, because at one point, I put it out there that I didn't want to continue to own the path that I was on, so I had to find out what it was for me to get myself out of that position and put myself where I need to be. On, on any given day at this point now, I'm able to, you know, enjoy some type of freedom um, without the stress of worrying of having to do something that I don't want to do. I'm no longer in that position because I didn't want to be in that position. I did not want that for the sake of me. And I was so distracted with what was told to me from growing up that I didn't find it within myself to say this is not what I wanted. I just knew instinctively like this is not what I want. It's not where I want to be. And then I started questioning myself like why am I here? Not how did I get here because I know how I got there. But I was like why am I here? Then I had to figure out man you got here because of the X factor. You know what I mean? And so people like look within yourself to say like okay what has been distracting me from me finishing my schoolwork? What has been distracting me from getting the job I'm supposed to have. What's been distracting me from going forward and going places that I know I need to go and know I need to be. You know what I mean? Don't get easily distracted by the littlest of things. There's a saying that goes like this. Don't spend major time on minor people. 
And that's the same thing for things, you know, don't spend major time on minor things. And that's real, bro. And y'all will get so far when you put that in your psychoanalysis, your psychoanalysis, and keep it there. Keep it registered in your head. Like, why am I spending time doing what I'm doing? And how is it going to benefit me? Or am I benefiting somebody else? Or am I being a, a distraction to someone? And, 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 and I've learned that people know how to manipulate you in, in so many ways that you would think it's for you. That's the devil side of what's been going on in society. You can be that individual. You know what I'm saying? People don't even know it. But I'm just saying that to say, like, stay, stay awoke of, of the things that are around you. Because, like, you can find yourself in a place and think that, like, I got here because I did this. But society moved in a way around you because of your thought process. And I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for myself. And, and I want to stress that to people that may feel paranoid about anything. That's how you can get out of your paranoia. I want to I want to I want to I want to highlight this for people that have anxiety. I want to I want to highlight that to people that have goals, dreams, and ambition, primarily people that feel some type of anxiety, worry, or paranoia, just think about what came into your life at the point of time that it did, that made you become aware of your paranoia, but I also want to say this, don't forget where that came from, because it was a message to you, for you to receive it. To become aware, to know that something is off, and if it is, it's true. I'm not saying this to enhance your paranoia, or your superstition, or any of that. I'm saying find out where it came from. Find out what distraction took place in your day of happiness. Find out what distraction took place in your journey of life. That made you put a stop to it. You dig what I'm saying? And then face that. Face that issue head on. Take it on. Because you have to. The reason why I say you have to. Is because it took you on. And it put you in a position. To where you have put a pause in your life. Right? You put a pause in your life. And you know you don't want to be there. Because it don't feel good. So. It's your job. To come out of that paranoia, come out of that anxiety, come out of that worry, doubt, and fear. But you have to do it for yourself. You can only get help from people that are trying to help you, but until you want to help yourself, you're not going to come out of it. And, it, you know, so for most people, that's one of the hardest things to do when you're dealing with those type of symptoms. Because people say that they relate to what you got going on. People say that they can agree, but honestly, they can only imagine because they're not you. They don't actually feel what you feel, so they don't really know what it is that you're dealing with. So think about what it is that's distracting you, and you keep on your course. You keep moving forward. You be the best you that you can be in this life. Everybody say we only got one life and we only live once. That right there is a mental suppression if you think that way. Every day that the sun come up, that's another day to live. It's another life that you're given. Think about like when y'all play video games, right? Y'all play video game. Y'all going about your day. You the most phenomenal warrior in the game. You killing everything. But as soon as you die, guess what? When your life's been taken away. Especially one of those games where you have multiple lives up in the corner. And you know how many lives you got. So you're going to be extra careful not to lose a life. And then there's some games that allow you to gain life. Right? But in this realm, in this reality. We're told we only give it one. Which in the physical is true. Y'all probably, probably trying to say like. What they got to do with distractions. Everything. Because every day that you live is another day of survival. Right? You got to eat. You gotta have a roof over your head. 
you got to maintain your living right it's another life it's another life that you're taking on so we come in contact with people other individuals just know it's another life we're dealing with and that they're not just living oh you only get one life every day you wake up that's a life you're still breathing you, yeah you get one body we have one entity you know what I'm saying but that's the that's the third dimension around which is a whole another bracket of like communication and you know that that I'm, I'm I want to say that that would be later in this platform that I'll speak into more into like the universal aspects of life and physics of like our makeup and stuff like that like <clears throat> not to go too scientific into things um but you know pretty much just in 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 this dimension this realm you know like for me i notice a lot of different stuff that i don't speak on and then when i do speak on certain things people think there's something wrong with me and so they continue to live and experience stuff and then they're like man that dude jay he was talking about this a long time ago so don't think that like you guys are doing something wrong in your day-to-day -day operations your day-to-day -day living just don't get too distracted to where you forget completely of what it is you're supposed to be doing and you know that's that's really how we got to this realm this whole ramification of life here in this physical we was on the mission we were spiritually we was on a mission you know the universe was playing this course and when we got once we became conceived in the physical we came here on a mission and we got distracted by what once we got hit with the lights in the doctor's office once we were born <laughs> our whole awareness and entirety of like our our purpose for coming here was destroyed it something happened within like the matrix of this life where the codes was transfigured and and it allowed us to be the superhuman like actual fucking mortals like we where we have to die that's just part of it we have to die and that was not a distraction to whatever code and makeup that there was we have to go through this so again I don't want to get y'all thinking on like so many different levels but I just want to say like for me I missed out on certain things in life because of distraction and then maybe I put somebody through something where they missed out or they've gained because of distraction distraction is not necessarily a bad thing but we have coded it to be a place in the negative category when it doesn't have to be that that's what it is like you can actually that's why i say education is consistent but it, it change like you have to find the spells to what you're perceiving and what we're projecting or what we're receiving and what and how we're reflecting what we receive and how we reflect it so let me get off this because i have distracted somebody long enough and I distracted you guys to the point where that can be a positive thing or you have picked up something in this topic where it's a negative thing and whether I get the feedback or not the feedback is running through your mind on maybe a positive or negative aspect so yeah that's me you guys speaking on distraction I want to go further into depth but just just kind of dissect it for yourselves out there and think on it like hmm I'm going to go in the kitchen. I don't know mama said not to do this, but hey, mom. And guess what? So, our senses play a factor in what goes on with distraction. I can get out of my car right now. I can walk to get in my, my home or get in my next car. Somebody can walk out, hey, Jay. Well, I can do that. Somebody's doing something and I stop them and they on their journey and they quest and they pad. You know, they, probably taking our trash hey yo look out check it this out check this out most women already are aware that they always like what does this person want you know every time a guy stop and talk to us they give us that look like 
What's your motive? What's your agenda? What is your intentions? Right? Always, you know, and that's why, you know, a lot of guys find it hard to even speak with a woman or be in a relationship or even just engage with a woman because women have been distracted by so many males or they have been stopped and approached where they're like, mm -mm, I don't want what you have to offer. You can have, you can have a gold mine for this woman. But women have become so accustomed to it that it's a distraction in their mind. So we kind of got to flip how we like think and do things and how we feel. Distraction can be a feeling. You know, feeling can be a distraction. You can feel good one day <clears throat> and this particular day make you feel good, right? Then all of a sudden the weather change. Within like your five minutes of you like oh, feeling good. Weather change. You look up. <sighs> Something just came across you, right? Made you think different with an instant. It wasn't necessarily somebody. Right? It was a feeling. So distraction come in many forms, you guys. We are distraction to one another. Again, may it be positive or negative. I don't know. Some people use it as a tool to better their situation or lessen their situation. I just want everybody to look at it in a, in a positive sense to better their situation. I've been a distraction to myself. Honestly. And I say that because there's so many different things out here in this world that take our attention span. And that's a fact. So, I will leave you guys with that. This is my time. I must conclude this video. Peace, love, respect, and positivity.